Hello and welcome back to another Japan Crate unboxing video. This time we are going to open the box in order, show you what's in it, and then we're going to go into the tasting. Just like we've been doing for the last few boxes, this month is a little bit late because I was actually out of the country for several weeks and the April box came in and I wasn't even home to receive it. So this is the April box, even though we're already past April. So again, another late box. I apologize, but it is what it is. You still get to see what's in it. You still get to see me taste it. Volume 10 edition. I don't even know where the first item is. This one's apparently called Fruit Shop Gummy. It's shaped like little fruit and they taste like the fruit that they're shaped after. So if it looks like a pineapple, it probably tastes like a pineapple and so on. Oh, I know that I like these Fue Ramune Whistle Candies. I've had bigger packages before of these, but hey, this comes with about three in the pack and I'm fine with that. They taste usually pretty good to me. It tastes like that Ramune drink in candy form, and that's one of my favorite things in all of these Japan crates. Sakupan giant wafer thing. Um, as all the Sakupanda things, it looks like the Sakupanda, and uh, it'll probably maybe have some kind of an expression on it, but it's Sakupan giant wafer. Jankenpan candy, rock, paper, scissors candy. I don't know a thing about these. It's like... They're swirly. I can't tell from the, I think it's cola flavored because there's like a little picture of a cola thing there. But I'm not sure what this is and what it's going to be like. <laughs> Even there's question marks right on the packaging. So I have no idea. Is this the mini crate? Like this is mini? This is not mini. This is humongous. Chip star crackers, wafers. They're shrimp flavored. It looks like according to the box. Again, I know nothing about these. This is gonna be fun to try. Okay, in the original crate, we've got a DIY first thing up, and it's apparently, according to the instructions, it's called Waku Waku Zoo. Uh, waku Waku is the sound of excitement. It's like, excitement inside. The thing calls it Waku Waku Zoo, but this translates into Waku Waku Dobutsu, which is like, Dobutsu is like animal. It's just animal. Maybe it does mean zoo. I don't I don't know DIY lollipops Caprico caught <laughs> What is this it's made by Kuriko which makes Pocky So maybe they're gonna be kind of Pocky like but they sure don't look like it I have no idea what this is gonna be like, but this is the thing I'm so far the most excited about trying <laughs> Oh no Pedro Cola they're kind of like Pop Rocks and a dip them. So like, you see on the packaging, the little character is like, he's licking a, like a lollipop, but it's covered in like Pop Rocks things and you can hear it in the package. It's very much like a Pop Rocks thing, I think. If it's anything like the Ume Pop Rocks style stuff that they usually have in Japan, I'm gonna hate this. It really depends on the flavor. It looks like it's cola flavored. So maybe I'll like it. I don't know yet. It's Nissan gum. This is one, two, three gum. And I don't know why it's so small. It's supposed to be like pocket size so you can take it on the go. But I don't know of a gum where I really have trouble fitting it into my pocket in the first place. But that's why it's supposed to be so small. Um, it's apple flavored, green apple flavored, which I tend to like. But as it's a gum, I'm probably going to be trying to taste this near the end as I, I really don't want to have to waste it and spit it out. Calbee shrimp chips. And these are like American, like something you'd find in an Asian market more than what you would find authentically in Japan. Uh, they're shrimp chips. And I have had shrimp chips before. I don't mind them. Um, so this is probably going to be pretty good for me. Uh, they don't look like normal chips though. They're like spirally. So interesting. 50 years they've been doing these shrimp chips. Puru mochi. I don't know what puru mochi means. Mochi is, I think, you know, rice cake, but these aren't rice cakes. They're like, they're like little candies. They're like little sugary candy things. So they're grape flavored as a lot of things in Japan are. Pineapple and grape, those seem to be the two flavors that Japan really loves. But there's a, quite a big pack of candies here. Puru mochi. Um, it says that they're zetain yoishi, which means, you know, they're really delicious, but I don't, I don't know, because grape flavor, that fake grape flavor, I'm suspicious about it. So we're going to try this and hopefully it's not as bad as I think it'll be. <laughs> now, I have never had this before. It said that it was a repeat, but it must have been in a box that I wasn't subscribed to. Uh, this is a banana flavored Twinkie, more or less. It's like a spongy marshmallowy thing with chocolate inside. 
but it's banana flavored also. Yaukin Banana Man candy. We've got a pineapple soda. This is gonna be very interesting because I don't really have any experience drinking a pineapple drink. Now, I said before that the two flavors that they really have a lot of in Japan are the pineapple and the grape. Now, the reason that they have pineapple a lot is because the only place in Japan pineapple grow are in Okinawa, and the rest of Japan, it costs a lot to get pineapple. So to kind of compensate for that, they make it available through drinks and candy and things like that. So this is another example, a pineapple soda. I hope it's carbonated. I hope it tastes as good as I think it will. Now, as a bonus, every single crate got a different Kawauso no Kotsume otter out of water. And what these little toys are, they're little squeaky toys. And probably a dog would love this. Um, but it's adorable too. And they're actually holding a contest. Japan Crate is holding a contest. You're supposed to take your little character, whichever one you got, and put it in different places and take pictures. Send them in with that hashtag, otter out of water. And you could win something, I think. So that's kind of cool. They're little cute things. And they're squeaky. I love this little thing. This is a cool bonus to have. <laughs> Time for the tasting! First up is the fruit shop gummy, the ones where the fruit are shaped like they taste, according to the packaging. Um, I'm gonna be safe right now and just try the grape one. See, it looks like a grape. And, uh... Mmm. Denser than I thought it would be. <laughs> I don't know if that's fake grape flavor or not. It doesn't really taste like grape. Surprisingly, they're kind of like any fruit snack, really. Fue Ramune, I got the Fue Ramune. And I'm gonna show you what these whistle candies look like if you haven't seen it on my channel before. They look like this, they're little rings, kind of like a, um, I don't know, lifesaver or something like that. And you whistle them like that. It's supposed to be fun. So <laughs> I actually really like the taste of them. Mmm, exactly how I thought it would be. Mmm. The Sakupan Giant Wafer. Now this is the one that I think I am setting myself up for the most disappointment for. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. I don't know why. Is it broken? Mine's broken! They severed his ear! In shipping, they severed his poor little ear. Look at his ear! It's so bad! But, I mean, I still have his, his severed ear. He's covered in like a powdery chocolate. And it looks kind of marshmallowy. I'm just gonna take a bite and see what it's like. Hmm. Hmm. Surprisingly good. It has not a marshmallowy taste to it. It's more of a custardy taste. And that's not what I expected at all. Jankampon candy. You're not really supposed to see what's inside yet. What you're supposed to do, two friends both have a package of Jankampon candy. And Jankampon is basically the Japanese equivalent to rock, paper, scissors. So you open yours up with your friend at the same time and you play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Paper. So at least I think that's what that is. Oh man, it really, <laughs> it is definitely paper. It's very, very gummy and it smells like those fake um, soda candies. I'll just eat the whole hand. Mm. Mm? It's basically just plain gummy and that was sort of disappointing the fun is really had in playing the game not so much in eating the candy time to open the chip star these are basically like pringles in every way so you know it is what it is i know that people have had chip star before in japan crates as you can see let me get a good one out that's not broken they look exactly like pringles in every way <laughs> and taste. The taste is exactly like a Pringle in every way. There is no difference whatsoever. This is Pringles. And if you like Pringles, you'll like Chipstar. I have to say that as I had the aftertaste hit me, definitely a shrimpy taste. So I remembered immediately that these are shrimp flavored. You can taste it in the aftertaste, but otherwise not so much. Woo, that shrimpy aftertaste is still getting me, but let's take care of it with these Waku Waku Dobutsu Lollipops? What are these? Dobotsu candies. Who needs instructions? We got the typical DIY mold, and we've got typical DIY flavors. You usually mix them together in some fashion, make a shape, 
squeeze them together, and a candy is formed. We've actually made similar to this before, so this is nothing new. So it looks like we were given two flavors, a lemony and a gravy, and uh, they smell very, very strong. They're probably going to be very ultra sweet. So I'm going to just mash them together as much as I can and see what we can come up with. Force! If you're careful enough, you can actually get a little bear-shaped candy. It looks pure white on the screen, I know, but it's actually two different colors. And in fact, they split apart because I didn't mash them together. But it's a little bear shape. I'm going to eat the little bear. Lemon and grape flavored together. Oh. It's like eating a chewing gum. The texture and the taste is exactly like eating a Hubba Bubba style chewing gum. Like it's chewing gum, but you can easily swallow it. Like you can tell that it starts dissolving as you eat it. Flavor wise, pretty good. Mm, it's not really for me. It tastes good though. Caprico Cut. Now this is the one that I was most excited about and I think I still am the most excited to try this one. Because this looks like the kind of candy that I would normally buy if I were in the mood for something sweet. Well, that's kind of cute. It comes in a heart shape. I didn't really realize that they were heart shaped before. But it's definitely heart shaped. And it comes in a nice little package. So let's open it up and try one. They are not soft at all. They are very hard candies. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is amazing candy. The best description I can give are that they are like candied form of hot chocolate like they have a milkiness but a chocolatiness they're really really soft and sweet and tasty <laughs> when i saw these were up next i kind of sighed like oh no how how can i do these again how can i do this to myself again so oh. <laughs> i opened the package and a puff of sugar came out so it comes with a little lollipop and you have to lick it to make it wet it has a very soda-y taste to it, but very mild. Um, it's not like Pop Rocks whatsoever. I don't know if you can see it, but it's granulated sugar. It's just sugar powder. And I'm going to dip it inside and see what we can get from it. I don't know if it'll pop like Pop Rocks. Oh, God. I spilled it literally all over. It's dripping. It's dripping sugar. It's like raining sugar. I got sugar everywhere now. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm! That is weird. It fizzes. It's really, really fizzy. So, the idea, I suppose, is that they have made a candy that not only tastes like soda, but has that fizzy, almost carbonated feeling to it when you, when you go to eat it. Pretty good. It's actually kind of a neat idea. I like it. I almost couldn't stop eating that powdered sugar stuff, but let's move on to the one, two, three green apple gum so this is the gum itself they actually kind of smell oddly enough well I don't know why it's odd but oddly enough it smells like apple juice so I'm actually kind of getting excited about trying this one hmm initial flavor is like plastic it has no taste now it kind of tastes like a piece of styrofoam with a hint of apple juice poured on it not good like you're chewing on a piece of rubber or plastic and it kind of has that taste to it too with apple juice poured on top finally the Calbee shrimp chips now i'm excited to try these because i do know that i like them i've had them before at several asian markets different brands probably even calbi brand whoa the smell alone <laughs> what it's like i <laughs> oh, oh. it's like i just stuck my head into the boston harbor it's very shrimpy <laughs> Try one. Let's just try one. Start at one. No shrimp flavor whatsoever. How is that even possible? How can you make something smell so much like a shrimp's butt and taste just like a plain old chip? Kind of like it, I'm going to say. It's leaning more towards like than hate because it has such a mild flavor to it. Pudimochi grape candy. I can't wait to try these ones because I'm excited to see if they taste as fake grapey as they they probably will. I'm just gonna try it. Down the hat. Mm. That wasn't a gummy. That wasn't solid. That wasn't liquid. It was something in between. 
and it was weird. I took a bite of evil today. There you are, Banana Man. <laughs> I got Banana Man candy. It's supposed to be kind of like a Twinkie with chocolate in it and a marshmallowy out outside exterior. <laughs> Do you like my banana? Kind of has the smell of like a banana flavored milk. If you've ever had banana milk, kind of a fakish banana y flavoring or like a banana medicine if you've ever had that when you were a little kid. So I'm about to try it. Mmm. It's definitely more marshmallowy than I thought it would be. And then only in the very, very, very aftertaste do you taste even the slightest hint of chocolate. I'm not sure why people would like this. If they brought this back as kind of like a fan favorite, I'm not sure why. It's really, to me, kind of gross. <laughs> and we are at the last item already to wash it all down, the pineapple soda. This one I was also excited about because I was excited to try a pineapple drink that might be carbonated. So let's give it a shot and see how it is. Sure enough, it has a little bit of carbonation to it. So bottoms up. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the other unboxing videos on the channel, definitely. Here's to you. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck!